I'm going to show you how to airplay your iPads directly to your Westinghouse Roku TV using the built-in AirPlay 2 inside the Westinghouse Roku TV, okay? So first thing is, let's go ahead and click on the home button and let's make sure that you have uh, the Apple AirPlay 2 on here. And we also have to make sure it's turned on. So once you're here, what you wanna do is just go all the way down to settings right here. Now move over to the right. And now just go ahead and keep scrolling down. Now you should see this, Apple AirPlay and HomeKit. The thing is, uh, Roku just started rolling this out, I think like near the end of 2019 on some of the select models. If you don't have this right now, do a software update and check back to see if you have it, okay? Anyway, so from here, let's click on OK and let's, let's make sure that the AirPlay is turned on and then we'll go ahead and AirPlay uh, my iPad. So we can see um, AirPlay right here and you can see that it's on. Okay, turn it off and turn it back on. So I have it on right now. So it's on now. Let's go ahead and airplay my um, iPad. So it doesn't matter where you are in the TV now. Let me just go ahead and grab my iPad. On this iPad here, to get the control center to do the airplay, top right-hand side, slide down. Now this is the control center right here, and you can see it says screen mirroring here. That's basically Apple AirPlay is a wireless screen mirroring. So screen mirroring is here. Let's go ahead and tap on screen mirroring, and let's wait for it to find the TV, 43-inch Westinghouse TV, Roku TV is right here. Let me tap on that. Give it one second. Now, the first time that you connect, I had it on there, It'll a four-digit code will appear uh, on there, then you had to input it onto your iPad, okay? Anyway, I've already used this iPad many times by airplane. This. Anyway, you can see that we're airplane right here, as you can see. Now, Another thing that I want to note too is um, in order for you to connect, it's using your home Wi-Fi network. So the TV and your iPad need to be on the same home Wi-Fi network, okay? You can see like a little bit of lag here, but it's not usually like this, this slow internet connection or Wi-Fi connection right now. Anyway, you can see it mirroring here. If you want to go ahead and stop the screen mirroring, just bring up the control center again on your uh, iPad. And then before it said screen mirroring, now it says the name of your TV. Mine's a 43-inch Westinghouse Roku TV. I'll just, oops, just tap on that. And I'll tap on screen mirror or stop mirroring right here. And there you go. All right, pretty simple.